Up next, we're going to bring Ed from the band Electric Saul. Hi, Ed. Hey, Electric. How are you doing? Doing great. Thank you. So thank you so much for being on with us. Thank you. And Thanks for having I'm, me. I'm very excited to have you and talk about your music and your band, Electric Saul. So when we first heard your band, you um, had sent us a video, and I just instantly fell in love with the entire vibe of oh. your sound, of your music, and I just uh, I just love it. I think it, it always puts me in a good mood. It always makes me want to dance, and um, yeah, I can't wait to get my Electric Saul balloons in the mail. Yeah, they're on their way. They should be there any day now. <laughs> they're so cool. So speaking of your balloons, you guys have these balloons in your music videos and also um, on the album and you actually offer them on your site for purchases as a gift with purchase. That's so cool. Um, so who's the person that blows up all these balloons? I'm so curious. <laughs> well, we have a helium place down the street at the grocery store down the street for me. Um, they do that for us, but uh, yeah, we do all the air ones ourselves. But um, yeah, it's really funny how that kind of came about. You know, it was just, I think I might've just been using it as an emoji for a birthday for someone. And I was like, oh, this is really fun. And it kind of captures something, you know, simple and innocent and just childlike that we're kind of trying to do. Um, so we started using that emoji and then it just seemed to fit uh, kind of the motif of the song. So uh, we used it in the video and we got a lot of them and it was really a lot of fun to, just yeah. walk around downtown Phoenix with a bunch of balloons. Yeah, I love I love the vibe of it. I love the vibe of your video. Um, so everyone in there is kind of playing with the balloons. Um, and the way that it's filmed is very fun. It's almost like you're there kind of with you guys, running around, having fun. Yeah. Thanks. It was very guerrilla uh, filmmaking. And it was funny. So we filmed it downtown by the Science Center. And it's this really cool structure. And then there's a little park next to it. And there were probably like eight other photo shoots or video shoots going on at the same time. And, you know, everyone, <laughs> no permits or anything, but everyone was really respectful of each other. And, you know, if someone needed a certain area, they would wait. And it was, it was very, uh, it was very funny that there were just so many people filming stuff in that area at that time. That's great that it worked out because yeah, you know, it's a great spot. the video, you can tell you guys are genuinely <clears throat> having fun. Yeah, we like each other. Our, our band uh, spans a couple mm -hmm. generations, so it's kind of cool when we're able to get together and just, um, you know, kind of learn from each other. The youngest guy is, uh, you know, 24 years old and, you know, other members are in their 50s. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a good mix of people. We, love, we have fun together. That's always nice to see that, you know, and it, it definitely um, comes through in your in your music as well. So I'm curious, when you started Electric Soul, it was a solo project, your own, right? And then sort of... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's sort of weird how it all developed, but um, I was really interested in doing music and it just wasn't going anywhere. And I'm a writer by trade. And uh, so I thought, all right, I'm just gonna write a book about a kind of a fake band from in, who lives in the desert and they try to get big by like going to the Native American casinos and, and things like that. So I was writing the story and uh, came up with the name Electric Soul. And then um, I, don't know, I started writing songs like for them. And uh, then I was like, well, you know, now I kind of freed up that writer's block and I'm able to write stuff. So I don't, I just try to figure out how to do it myself. So I had a friend of mine who was a producer who produced some of the early stuff that I did. And then the band started to form and it's still kind of a hybrid stuff, the recorded um, music. I kind of do alone with a couple, couple other people. And then the live performances are with the, with the full band. So we're still trying to figure it all out, but uh, no, but you're you're doing great. I saw recently um, you were all together at someone's house, I believe, and you were like in the kitchen, like singing. Yeah, we <laughs> I love it. Our practice is here. We're actually doing a practice tomorrow in the backyard. So uh, that's really nice. Yeah, it's 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 fun. Everyone's pretty close by each other. Yeah, so it's more of like a family at this point. I'm assuming. It really is. Yeah, they're just you know, and the Lindsay, the woman in the band, I've known her for a while. Um, and then all the other people kind of came in, you know, randomly and it's yeah. just, yeah, it's been a really fun, tight group. Yeah. I really but, like her hair. Yeah. I really like her hair in your video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she's, she's great. Yeah. It's fun. So yeah, you guys, um, you've been together for how long now? Well, it started in like 2016 
but we've really sort of kind of found our niche with the synth uh, fam, you know, very recently. So when the pandemic hit, I reached out to a guy I had seen live in February, um, an artist called Secret Attraction, and um, just really liked his sound. It was sort of what I had always imagined I wanted to do, but just couldn't kind of articulate it or figure it out myself. So I asked him if he would be willing to produce some stuff with me. And he's like, sure, why not? <laughs> you know, there's nothing else going on. It's a pandemic. So uh, he agreed and we worked together and really happy with how, how everything turned out. Yeah, that's great. And um, before we get into the video for Life Out Loud, can you tell us um, what you're working on, what we, what we can expect to see next from Electric Soul? Yeah, so the full EP called City Tonight uh, comes out in mid-April. Um, so there will be three net new songs on that EP that haven't already been released. And then, um, yeah, we're starting to get, uh, I've been writing a lot the last month or six weeks, and um, we're going to get in the studio soon and start working on the next one. So we're excited. That is exciting. Keep writing, keep doing what you're doing, because it's it's so great. And I really, I just love your band. I adore it. So, so, so we love you and I uh, love your show and how you've embraced us. And I really appreciate it. We're happy to have you. So with that, I'm going to turn it over and um, just ask you a question about the video that we're going to be yeah. showing. So um, we talked a little bit about the balloons and the location, but is there anything crazy that happened? Like, did anybody like fall off camera or anything while you yeah. were there? <laughs> Actually, poor, poor Robert, man. He's uh, so you'll see he sort of steals the show in the in the video. Um, but yeah, he wiped out a couple times. He, there was one scene where we like asked him, he's the youngest guy in the band. And, um, you know, we asked him if he could slide down a banister and he's like, sure. And the first time he did, it, he just like did not go well. And then, um, there's a scene you'll see where we're all, um, uh, kind of just playing lava, like trying to prevent the balloons from hitting the ground in the park area. And they had just done like some weird sprinkler thing on it. So the, the grass was really slick. And uh, yeah, he took a, a pretty oh, wow. big fall, but uh, we edited, we were able to edit that out of the video and uh, no one will ever know. <laughs> but he was a good sport and he heals quickly. So uh, yeah, it, it that's, was good. Fun. that's good. Everyone's okay. Um, so with that, <laughs> no, no hospitalizations or anything. So great. Great. So with that, we are going to show the music video for Electric Souls Life Out Loud. Awesome. Thanks.